Let's do basic alight motion tutorial together. Now we're gonna make this. We can use them all for free, including the logo of alight motion. First, press this button. Then we can choose the screen size and name the project here. And to get the image, press the plus button and press here. Then the image layers will now be created. If you want to choose multiple layers, press the bar until it changes color dot and then select the next layer. Now we can choose and move together. And if you press and move the three bars on the far right, you can move the layers like this. Now choose a layer and click on the text at the top. You can change the name of the layer. It takes a while, but it's an easy way to find the parts you're looking for. Now let's change the anchor point. Enter the transition tab and select the move icon one more time. Then you can control the anchor point through the area in the center. Oh, and don't forget to check the anchor point dot properly with the rotary tool under the move tool. Now we're gonna do parenting. Tap the layer and tap the top right icon. Now you can choose the layer you want to link to. In my case, I usually link hair to head, head to body. Now let's parenting the parts. And then we're gonna do keyframing. Move the parts from move area and tap the keyframe icon. Here's a small tip if you want to give a loop key. Put the key in the first and last sections in advance, which is a more convenient way to not have to be moved back to where it was. Now, let's give the graph in the graph tab. If you're not familiar with graphs, you can choose whatever you want. I'll make a tutorial video for the graph later. And then, let's rotate the ears. I'll give you another tip here. When your face moves down, rotate, hair parts goes up. In this way, you can give more interesting tweening. And I'll add a graph here. And in the same way, tweening the accessory parts. Well, we're almost done. The way to change the face parts is easy. You have to make one expression come out in one loop. And then try the interesting tweening way I just mentioned. It will be easy to think that the face parts follow the hair parts a little slow. And then it's done. Oh, wait, I think it'd be nice to put in some body movements. Select the body parts and tap tilt under the scale icon. I applied the tilt value so that it doesn't come off too much according to the movement of the face parts. Congratulations, this is the last step. Now we're going to make a loop with a group. As mentioned at the beginning, select all layers and then tap the group icon. Yes, we finally completed all the missions. Keyframe animation loop is complete. A completed group can be modified with added group editing dot by tapping the group layer. You did a great job, guys. If this video is well received, I'll make a graph tutorial for the next tutorial. So please subscribe and like, and please comment. Bye guys, have a good day.